Hello? I have five midterms this semester. Never back down, never what? Never give up. And I will say that I am officially pretty burnt out. Hello and welcome back to my channel guys. So yes, if you saw my last video or some previous videos ago, that is like part one of my studying for my midterms because I have five midterms this semester. So that just means I've been studying for midterms for like almost a month now. We love this life. This is just the engineering life. I don't know what to say. I had another midterm last night, which was one one of the ones that I was studying for last week. The exam went, I want to say, like kind of medium well. I don't really know. I feel like I paced myself really, really well this time. So I started at the back of the exam and then I went back to the front and then I went throughout. And my next midterm is next week, Thursday. So today is Tuesday, March 5th. My next midterm is next week, Thursday, and it's my intro to electronics course. I actually really like this course because it's the most circuitry related course. This one we do have to memorize like a lot of different equations but in the bare bones of it it's still just regular circuit analysis with like um, the equations for each device that I have to learn. So I think we have like four or five different devices but i think for the midterm we're only going to cover the first four potentially and then my last midterm which is going to be the week after next week is my second midterm for my signals and systems course which i really need to start like catching up on because i have not been taking notes for that course so we're just going to get on the grind right now so far i need to take notes for my electronics course i am taking handwritten notes because i do have in lecture notes but they're not very organized and i actually prefer a different professor's note taking method so i've been taking down her notes and then i've been going to my professor's lectures because i really like him too he's really funny so that's what we're gonna do right now hello everybody and welcome to basically part two of my second semester midterm season vlog i highly recommend you check out my first one which should be up on my channel starting off i basically have five midterms this semester basically i have three more midterms after the reading week which i have to complete and starting us off is my computer organization course Generally, in these sort of study videos, I want to give some study tips of my own just in case you guys are also studying for your own exams. I think the first one, which is also really relevant to me this season, is how to study in a short period of time effectively. In other words, how to cram effectively. Especially for this like second part of my midterm season, I felt super unmotivated and just unproductive. And so because of this, I found that cramming is almost inevitable at this point. Obviously, there's ways to sort of combat this so that this doesn't end up happening for you, but honestly, that's not what I'm here to talk about, so let's just get to the meat of it. The main steps that I usually follow are to focus on areas that I'm less confident in, to practice and apply the knowledge as much as possible, and then also explain these concepts to others. Obviously, when you want to study for any exam, it's really important to be able to go over and revise all the material, but based on the time that you have, sometimes that's just not the option. Instead, I would recommend skimming over chapters that you are more familiar with and that you know that you're a little bit more confident in, and then really digging in deep on the concepts that you're a lot less confident in. Once you're able to get that down by revising notes, writing down notes, whatever it is, I recommend you practice it as much as possible, which means you are applying the knowledge that you've just learned. 
And then on top of that, if you are able to, I really recommend that you try explaining these concepts to other people. The best way for you to learn is also to be able to teach other people what these concepts are, to really show that you've understood it fully. Break down the chapter into something anyone could be able to understand. This means, you know, making analogies, making connections, metaphors, whatever it is, and then in turn, it'll also help you remember these more easily. A lot of you guys also asked how I take notes effectively, so I wanted to share some tips. The main ideas are to write down all of your key ideas, make active connections, draw diagrams and pictures, and to highlight important formulas. Although I do want to stress that taking notes kind of differs from subject to subject, so while I'm doing something more STEM related, this is sort of like the methods that I follow, but if you're doing something in like a different field, it might be kind of different. I usually like to make headings, subheadings, and then in terms of active connections, you know, when you're listening in lecture, make sure that you're writing down like other things that the professor is saying, not just copying down exactly what they're writing. I find that when I'm doing this, it actually helps me pay attention a lot more and make sure that I'm not just like blindly copying down everything and that I'm kind of like learning as I go. I also do take digital notes since I find it really convenient during lecture since I only have to carry around one item, which is just my iPad instead of having multiple notebooks. <laughs> So, this is the... Uh, this is what's going on. Midterm season is still going. And it's like the middle of March. And I've been doing midterms since February. Like, it's been a month, guys. And I'm still- I've still got two more midterms. And then I've still got finals. And it's crazy, but we are going to push through. Never back down, never what? Never give up. And that's kind of like the whole motto at the moment. But funny story, I actually went to class today because I was literally like, oh, like yesterday I had such a hard time for my friends because I didn't go to our 9 a.m. and they did because they thought I was going to be there because I always go to my 9 a.m.s unlike them. So then I was like, you know what, I'll go to our 12 p.m. because it's literally a 12 p.m. class and I was like, if I go, they will 100% be there. Guess what? I show up and there's like 10 people in the room. But yeah, now I am skipping class because I'm at home and I'm going to study for my midterm tonight. I just have a bunch of problems that I want to do more of. This is my intro to electronics course that I'm studying for. It's 15 questions and my professor, who is the course coordinator, doesn't believe in part marks so it is a one two three grading system so yeah i'm kind of nervous he tried to reassure to us that it was going to be an easy midterm but i don't trust anything from my professors in general so i'm just going to practice as much as i can drill every like thing into my brain if i can and yeah, that's going to be the whole the whole thing. Continuing with the study tips, I wanted to give a lot more exam specific study tips. Especially for I want to say STEM related subjects, I find that practicing using past exams is so so helpful. At least at my university, it's really convenient because my engineering like society sort of has an archive of past exams. Practicing using past exams just gives you a really good sort of idea of the types of questions that you'll be getting. And it also helps you time yourself because in fact, I will say that answering questions quickly is often harder than figuring out the question itself. There have been so many exams in which the questions themselves aren't even that 
tricky, I want to say, but it's been the time limit that actually gets me at the end. So if your school doesn't actually have resources for past exams, I would then just ask maybe some upper years or even TAs for past exams or past exam questions just so you can use them as practice. And here is the most important part, guys. Do not look at the solutions. I know it's so tempting. I get tempted all the time unless you are very completely stuck, which just means I guess you haven't revised enough so that you have the knowledge to actually do the question. Just don't look at the solutions, try it out yourself. You have to work on your problem solving skills in the first place. Starting the question is often the hardest part, especially when you're at an exam and you're under pressure. So unless it's absolutely necessary, don't look at the solution try it out. If you can't get the first one, skip it, go to the next question. One of the best skills to learn is just how to problem solve, what are the steps you need to take to complete each type of question, and where do you start when you see that type of question. But overall, I hope everybody else is having a pretty okay semester. I know I say this every time, but your girl is going through it. I can tell you that for sure. The grades are not looking super good. The semester is really really rough like everybody likes to say i totally went in being like no i will be better than the general statistic of ece students i will not be one of those that says this semester is the hardest semester out of all four years i feel like it is but you know what it's okay we can push through it we can push through it together we got this you got this i got this we all got this Studying for my last midterm, guys. It's on Thursday, and I'm about a hundred and like 20 slides behind. It's really bad. Going on, I would say, especially when you find that the textbook is not very helpful in explaining things, or you're just not understanding the concepts you're learning in lecture, I really recommend using videos as a resource to understand things more clearly. Some of my favorite just like general channels to use are Khan Academy and Organic Chemistry Tutor. However, I have noticed that they're kind of good for like fundamentals, maybe just like AP or like first year stuff. But when you get more into like the technical nitty gritty stuff, I really recommend just like searching up whatever chapter you're working on on YouTube or just on Google and seeing what pops up. Personally, I find it really helpful to sort of watch a general video just to kind of grab the general idea of the topic, and then a video where they're sort of working through an example together with you. This way, you really know how to apply the knowledge correctly, and then you also know the steps that you're supposed to take in order to complete certain types of questions. And if any of you guys have specific channels that you would want to recommend to other people, definitely comment that down below, and maybe just like put a general summary on what those channels are usually for. Like for example, if they're more like math related, science related, arts related stuff like that today is the day of my last midterm and i will say that i am officially pretty burnt out it's because i have been studying for a month for midterms with one week of a break i have studied for this exam but i haven't studied to a point where i feel extremely confident but i guess it's sort of inevitable right now because i don't feel like studying and I don't feel like learning more so once you get to that point it's really hard to kind of like get over that mental barrier I want to say so I'm just like catching up to the point of my notes and then finishing up the last of the problems that I can do I didn't even get to any practice exams for this midterm so we'll just see how it is I have two midterms for this course and the first one already that one was kind of like I know I could have done better but I'm just not interested in this course. Pick something you're interested in. I didn't have a choice in what I picked for second semester or just second year in general. And I really liked my first semester courses or at least they felt more doable for me. But this semester is just 
I'm really, I'm kind of like clocked out mentally because I'm not finding any of it that interesting. I'm just gonna keep studying and we'll see how much more I can do within two hours before I take my exam. And yes, I'll be so happy to be finally done the exam. I won't be happy while I'm taking it, but I'll be happy once it's done. Cause an hour and 30 minutes for my exam, that'll go by so quickly. And then we're out of there, we're done. We're done on midterms and then I'll figure out the rest of life after, but I just, I need to be done. Like I actually cannot. <laughs> I cannot. Heading into the last stretch of my final midterm, I did really feel burnt out and just lost a lot of motivation and I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about this concept that people usually say in engineering. It's called the social sleep study triangle and basically what this means is within engineering because of the course load and the work, you can only have two out of the three within this triangle. More specifically, this basically means that within the three, you can only have two where you're like able to maintain it in a very healthy manner. Basically, you can have a social life and a good sleep schedule, or you can have a good sleep schedule and good grades, or you can have a good social life and a good study life, but you will just have a lack of sleep. What I'm trying to get at is I think this burnout was kind of inevitable because I was really prioritizing at this point my social life and my sleep schedule. Just in general, I am not one to be able to lose sleep. If I lose sleep and I don't get a full night's rest, I just like cannot function at all and like the entire triangle will basically just fall apart. So out of the three, I always need to have a good night's sleep. And then between the two, I would say in first semester, I did sort of prioritize my studying a lot more just because I kind of experienced what it was like in first year trying to juggle all three at once and it was really unproductive and just really really complicated but then throughout second semester I kind of wanted to branch out and I wanted to like talk to more people and just socialize a lot more which was why I kind of put my studying a little bit lower on the scale and so overall it's really what you make of it and what you want to prioritize in your life so I thought I'd update you guys and then just also close off the end of this video. I know it's been like literally a wild ride. I don't even know how I'm going to edit this whole video, Um, but I'm going to watch a movie tonight because I think I deserve it. No matter what, even though it was so hard to literally study for these last few midterms and I've had a pretty terrible midterm season in general, I think I still deserve it because I, at least I tried and I want to watch a movie. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope some of you guys had a better midterm season than me i think it's just the fact that i had five and that's just like out an outrageous number of midterms in general that's all to say that i am hoping that after this with like a little bit of a break finals will be slightly more fulfilling i want to say i hope that's the right word overall i hope you guys got some study tips study motivation all of that let me know what other videos you guys would like because I don't mind branching out of like the whole just study thing. That's just what I've been doing so far because that's all I really like have time for in university, I would say. And I will say another thing is I don't like going outside a lot, especially like when it's really cold because it's cold during the winter. You'll definitely see me film more outside when it gets warmer. It's just right now, it's kind of like not the vibes to be outside and I'm just a homebody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.